Hello, I would like to present this mini project which is magnetic properties of manganese and dope with the zinc iron oxide. This mini project already successful by my group member which is Hu Yin Jo, Nadia Nadira, Ida Razani, Nang Atya and also the last is me from Prohisham. Now I will go through to the introduction first. One of the important class of material which is nanocrystalline spinoferite are having a variety of electronic, magnetic and catalytic properties. They are large number of application of ferrite nanoparticle in different fields. This ferrite are semiconductor material with the where X can be divalent metal cation. Zinc ferrite is a normal spinner structure where zinc cation occupy tetrahedral site. They are chemically and thermally stable semiconductor material which suitable for a wide variety of application including magnetic material catalyst. Photocatalyst, magnetic ozone, magnetic ozone imaging, drug delivery and pigment. Some preparation method for sample zinc ferroxide nanoparticle with uniform size have been developed. However, Microscope combustion is chosen to use in this report since it is one of the environmental friendly method. Short reaction time, rapid heating, energy saving, and high reaction. Inside the material, one undergoes microwave reaction. Microwave energy transform into heat inside of the material. It also can reduce the energy consumption, decrease the reaction processing time and also provide rapid, controllable and homogeneous volumetric heating in to produce the final product in a few minutes. In a doping method, hydrothermal method was used for manganese dope zinferite. Chemicals that have been used in this experiment were manganese acetate, zinc nitrate and ferrite nitrate. Manganese acetate, zinc nitrate and ferrite nitrate were used as a preserve. Manganese will be added in different molar ratio to zinc ferrite. Zinc ferrite oxide is a chemical where weight in stoichiometric proportion. Chemical in stoichiometry we are calculate as a sample will be dissolved into distilled water to obtain a solution of metal ion. Then succinate hydrogen ligand solution was added and mixed carefully to obtain precursor mixture by stirrer uniformly. For constant and uniform steering of the mixture, magnetic stirrer was used. The mixture was broke to heat on a hot plate at 190 degrees for 8 hours. The product was then cooled to room temperature. Finally, the precipitate powder was dry overnight using an oven at 90 degrees in order to remove excess water as is a decomposed to become solid mass then the mixture was ready to be measured for magnetic properties after the mixture decomposed into the powder form hello everyone thank you for my group mate and now i will talk about the parameter about how it changed in the nanocrystal from the graph of intensity against 2 theta in degree. We know that Zn 1 minus x mn x Fe2 O4 nanoparticles is a qubit binary structure. And from the XRD pattern at around 220 440 and 533 plane. We can indicate that the sample crystalline is in single phase cubic spinner structures. Other than that, at around 220 and 422, there is a minor impurity peaks, and the peaks is getting higher and higher by comparing s equal to 0 and x equal to 1. This is due to not enough of heating temperature or time that need to get phase pure crystalline structure of manganese substitute zinc for the next table. The SRD and DTEM is decreased is this is decreased by increasing the contents of 
manganese. In the other hand, the lattice parameters is increased. We can say that the lattice parameter increase is due to the dissolution of manganese in spinal structure. The size and ma manganese have larger ionic ready than zinc. However, the particle size and atomic structure of the nanoparticle is getting smaller and smaller by increasing the contents by increasing the concentration of manganese substitution. This is because the atom of manganese has less number of valence electrons. Thus, the attractive force between the nucleus and the valence electron is get is bigger. The interatomic distance becomes smaller and finally the volume becomes smaller too. The changing in lattice parameter DTEM and DSRD causes the changing in magnetic properties too. Other than that, we are using Scherer equation to determine the crystalline size. The result saw that the crystalline size decreased as the manganese contents increase. This is due to the neighborhood impurity and defects within a crystal. Last one, the grain size is determined by using FESEM. FESEM is used to observe small structure on the surface of self and materials. The object is scanned by electrons according to zigzag patterns. The large amount of intergranular pore that having in low manganese concentration in a sample compared to high manganese concentration had caused bigger grain size and also non-homogeneous grain grow. From the result above, the grain size is decreased by increasing the manganese content. This is all my presentation. Thank you. Hello, my name is Nadia Nadia Bezi Muhammad Jamalul Alik. I am from RK56. From good 19, I will present about uh, uh, morphology characteristic. Okay, scanning electron microscope was used in the study of morphology structure of all the zinc manganese ferrite samples. The result show as the manganese is getting more dope into zinc ferrite, allogomeration will increase. Larger cluster and allogomerate were broken into smaller size. The agglomeration should be credited to interaction between magnetic nanoparticles in less and because of highly magnesium substitution content more with iron oxide, there is less agglomeration. Thus, the grain size of nanoparticle will decrease. Uh, this the larger effect on properties of magnetic and spinal structure of the metaphoric is confirmed with the increasing of magnesium content. Besides, Clear and homogeneous, homogeneous dispersed grain can be seen from the image and also well defined of sharp edge grain boundaries. Small amount of intergranular pore were shown in highly substitution of manganese compared to low substitution of manganese. As a conclusion, a lower concentration of metal substitution show lower agglomeration and well order. Also, small particle size distribution than the higher metal substitution. Next, I will explain about the Curie temperature. Basically, Curie temperature is the critical temperature that some of material lost their permanent magnetic properties by increasing with in introduced induce magnetism. This is the specific temperature of which material induces the magnetic change direction. It is found that that is increasing in the Curie temperature with increasing the amount of mag zinc manganese ferrite. When x equal to 0 0.2 to x equal to 1.0 the curing temperature will increase from 200 up to 400. This is because the magnetic ion was had substituted zinc ion in this ferrite. As in the study in the bulk counter counterpart, 
the curing temperature volume will fall to higher in the bulk ferrite due to deviation of cation distribution in nano-sized particles. Partic practically, the exchange in interaction of the metallic ion on the two inter interactive sublattices A and B do affect the magnetic properties. Besides, the inner surface effect will cause the curing temperature decrease too. With small particle, uh, with smaller particle, a uh, significant significant fraction of atoms are on the surface, and so their magnetic interaction is expected to be different. It is shown if uh, rising to a different average curing temperature. Hello, my name is Nang Atia Farhana Binti Long Azha from RK56. I will present about magnetization, coercivity, and saturation magnetization. The magnetization, coercivity, and saturation magnetization can be traced by using VSM in room temperature. When manganese content increases, the saturation magnetization decreases due to the presence of impurities atom. On S equal to 0 until S equal to 0 0.8, magnetization and coercivity increase but decrease when S equal to 1.0. Increase of magnetization and coercivity make soft magnetic of manganese ion dissolution into zinc ferrite, having relatively hard magnetic features. The presence of impurities contain increase the saturation magnetization from S equal to 0 until S equal to 0 0.5 and decrease when S equal to 0 0.6 until S equal to 1.0. The increasing of Fe3 plus in octahedra then tetrahedra cause saturation magnetization to increase. When saturation magnetization decreases, Mn2 plus will occupy at octahedra and push Fe3 plus to tetrahedra. This will make antiparallel spin coupling to rise as spin canty resulting become weak in AB exchange coupling. At S equal to 0.5, located the highest value for saturation magnetization. This is because of the BB interaction is higher than AB interaction. Grain size also can affect the value of saturation, magnetization and coercivity. When manganese substitution increase, the grain size will decrease. Hence, decrease the saturation magnetization but increase the coercivity. In domain wall theory, it states that as the grain size decreases, it is tough to arrange single larger domain to follow the direction of applied field. This will result in changing of multi-domain phase to single domain phase due to the decrease of grain size and increase in coercivity. Good morning, Dr. Yo. I am Siti Nazari WP Marazani and I'm going to present part of our proposal. Uh, which is the permeability and hysteresis loss. So basically, permeability means the ability of a substance to allow another substance to pass through it. For example, the ability of porous uh, rock, sediment or soil to transmit fluid through pores or crack. While hysteresis uh, loss is the work was done by magnetizing force against the internal friction of energy which is wasted in form of heat due to the hysteresis. Okay, so, so for the nanoparticle samples, the permeability value will have higher value when the concentration or X is equal to zero, whereas the metal ferrite is, is in soft characteristic. And the value will then decrease uh, when the substitution of concentration of manganese is equal to 0 0.1. And the value will be sharply decreased when the concentration of manganese is substituted with 0 0.5. While for the hysteresis loss, it is uh, very contradict with permeability. Uh, it will be from low to high value when manganese concentration is high. 
So, decreasing in permeability and increasing in hysteresis loss with decrease in grain size changes due to variation of the first one is microstructure parameters for instant grain size. The second one is the present of second phase. And the third one is the homogeneity. So the value of permeability and the hysteresis loss will be contradict to each other. Converting material from multi-domain to single domain uh, phase needed larger field to reverse magnetization, which will increase the hysteresis loss. Uh, where the smaller the grain, uh, will have small permeability and larger hysteresis loss or vice versa. Thank you. In the course of this mini project that has been conducted was to study the magnetic properties of manganese and dope, the manganese with the zinc iron oxide. The magnetic properties of manganese, zinc, ferrite are dependent upon the composition content of zinc. Increase in the substitution degree of zinc will reduce the curie temperature of manganese zinc ferrite. The particle magnetization increase with the increase of the composition content of zinc for a smaller X, but is decreased with the further increase of the composition content of zinc if S above the 0 0.6. The technique of hydrazine synthesized that have been used to prove all the elements in the zinc iron oxide. Furthermore, the synthesized Manganese zinc ferrite nanoparticle have been used to prepare ferrite ferrofluids by adding some surfactant, a substance that tends to reduce the surface tension of a liquid in which it is dissolved. In the case of synthesized method to dope the manganese zinc ferrite represent pure ferrite phase, larger saturation, magnetization, and lower coercitivity, a resistance of a magnetic material to change in magnetization equivalent to field intensity necessary to demagnetize the fully magnetized material we are obtained when the cure temperature was controlled from the major saturation magnetization of the ferrite free and the nanoparticle diameter so we conclude the magnetic of manganese zinc ferrite nanoparticle have been estimated based on the assumption of single magnetic domain so thanks for watching and listening our video.